Good morning students. Today we are going to discuss on program number 4. Program to calculate the price after discount. Every time you see in any shop they put 20% discount, 20%, 30% discount. So if I am going to buy a pro product which is 10 real, if 20% discount is there, they will reduce 2 real and I will pay 8 real. If there is a 30% discount, I, they will reduce 3 real and I will only pay 7 real. So this is what is discount and the price is becoming 7 real. So I am going to write a program to calculate the same one, same idea in Visual Basic. So now let me just try to put, I have put the label 1 already. In the label 1, I am going to write first, I am going to write here, program are calculating, calculating discount, discount price, discounted price. Okay. So this is the heading. I am having label 2. In the label 2, I am going to write the text as, I am going to write here, price or original price. What is the original price of the product? Original price. I am going to put the original price here and I will place one text box. I am going to place one text box here. Now I have placed one text box here. Now I have placed one combo box here and I will write here. I will copy this one. Right click, copy, right click, paste. Now you can see here, I am just going to put it down as original price. I am going to write it down as percentage, percentage of discount. I am going to write here as percentage of discount. See here, I am going to write it as percentage of discount. After I write the percentage of discount, I am going to use a button to calculate the percentage of how much is the discounted amount. So for this one, I will copy and paste another text box here. So in this text box, I will also copy the label from here using control C, control V. I write here discounted price, discounted, discounted price, discounted price. What is the price after discount? Then discounted or I will not give discounted price. I will go, I will give discount amount. Just I will write here discount amount. How much is the money that has been discounted from the original price? Then let me write another text box, another copy text box. I copy and paste another text box and I will copy and paste this label and I will write price after discount. Here in this one I will write price after discount. So I am just going to write here price or after price after discount. I am going to write here price after discount. So you, you can see here this is the design that I am going to have for the screen. So first we have label 1. This is label 2. This is label 3. This is label 4. This is label 5. I have text box 1. I have text box 2, I have text box 3, I have combo box 1, I have one button. Now I go to the property which is called font. As usual, I go to the font, I choose bold, I choose 16, I give OK. Now you see that everything is become better to see. Now I just try to move it here, original price. Now I just try to move percentage of discount here. Then I put the button here, discounted amount, I will put it here so that there is no overlap and price after discount, I change it here. So now you see that this is my design. So it has how many text boxes? Three text boxes. It has one combo box, one button and these are the things that I have. The button I am going to change it as in the, in the text property, I am going to change it as calculate discount. Calculate discount. Calculate, calculate, calculate discount price. Discount. Calculate discount. Discounted price. I am just going to type calculate discounted price. So if you don't see it, you can make it little bit elongated. Calculate discounted price. So now you can see here, you have the button here. So when you are going to calculate, it is going to come. There is one more thing I have want to do is that I have the combo box. How much is the percentage of commission? How to enter? How much 
is a discount I am going to give percentage. So I go to item. You will see something called item. Click on the item. You will type here maybe 5 percentage, 10 percentage, 15 percentage, 20 percentage, 25 percentage, 30 percentage, 35, 40 percentage, 45 percentage, 50 percentage. This is the maximum I will give 50 percentage. So all the discounts are going to be coming in this uh, combo box. You want to see it? I will show you now. You can see here. You can see all the discounts coming up here. 5, 10, 15 like this. Now this will automatically come. Now you have to enter the data here. Then you have to press this button. Cal discounted amount. How much money is discounted from the original price? It is lessened from the original price. Will come here as discounted amount. And then you will also get what price that you have to pay. After the discount, it will come here. Now for this purpose, I am going to write the code here. So I click on this button. But now the program will not write the code because it was still running. Now when you click, okay, I got it. So now we are going to get in text box to dot text. Now let me look at the design because you may ask me why text box 2. You are getting the answer here first. Discounted amount. Text box 2 dot text equal to text box 1 into combo box 1. So I will show you how to write the code. Because text box 1 is easy. Val of text box 1 dot text into how to write for the combo box. I am going to show you now. Now you can see here. I am going to the I am going to the code here text box 2 dot text this is where I am going to get the output val of text box 1 dot text and I am going to multiply okay because combo box see here combo combo box 1 dot selected selected item selected item combo box 1 selected like for example, if you choose 5, it will take the value as 5. If you select 10, it will choose the value as 10. If you choose 15, it will choose the value as 15. Something like this. Whatever the item is selected by the user, this will be taken into consideration. Now, after this one, you see here, this is actually going to multiply, but you are not going to get the value in percentage. Because this is actually percentage. 20% means what? Multiplied by 20 percentage. How to do it? So you have to divide by 100. Divide by 100. Now you see is there any error? There is no error. Now what I do is that I go to the next one. Text box. Text box 3 dot text. Now you may ask me a question. Where is text box 3? This is text box 3. So what you are going to get in text box 3? This is the original price. You got a discount here. So this one minus this one. So tell me the code. The code is what? Text box 3 dot text equal to text box 1 dot text minus text box 2. But always you know that we will add what? Val. Why we are adding val? Because it's a number. So val of text box 1 dot text minus val of text box 2 dot text. Can you see now? Is this clear? Only two lines. The code which I wrote is only these two lines. But you see, don't memorize the codes. The biggest problem with many of our students is that they try to memorize the code. You should not memorize. Try to understand the idea. I am trying to clearly explain to you in a simple manner in which I am trying my level best to explain you. If you are still not very clear about something, always feel free to ask me the questions during the interactive sessions for which I will be willing to answer you. Now you see this is done. Now let us try to make the uh, program run and see. Now you see that I am going to Lulu for example. I am buying a product which is 50 real originally. But now the discount is given as 15 percentage. Now 7.5 real is the discount which is given for this particular product. So I have to only pay 42.5 real. 50 minus 7.5, 42.5. 15 percentage, 50 into 15 by 100 is equal to 7.5.
Now let me check for another one. Let us imagine I have another product which is 30% discount. See the price is 15 real, discounted amount is 15 real and I need to only pay 35 real. So I hope it's clear for you. You can see the code and the design here now. With this one we have finished exercise number 4 part 2. I have left only one question for you to try on your best on your best on your own because you see if everything is done by us then you don't have any scope if it is not an on online class maybe i will ask you to do in front of me i can help you to debug and correct the error since we are in a different scenario now i am trying to give you a scenario like i try to solve many programs for you and you have to submit these programs to me so now you have the code and you have everything also there is mark. See these exercises when you submit in a normal class you will get 5 marks because we are not going to do the, all the questions in the class we will ask we will try to do one or two then ask you to practice in the class. But since the situation is completely online today this semester we are actually trying to help you out with solving all the programs. Still if you do the same program and give me I will you will get 5 marks for this work. So in a way that we are trying to support you and make sure you can get good grades in the exam. This is our goal. Now we have done all the programs. You have seen that we have done part 1, all the 7 questions. And parts 2, we have done 4 questions. We have done example programs also. We have seen many example programs. So this completes exercise number 4, part 1 and part 2. Now the next part will be exercise number 5 where we will be discussing about looping. It will also have part 1 and part 2 where in the part 1 we will be discussing about while loop. In the part 2 we will be discussing about using for loop in visual basic. So inshallah with this we will stop for today. See you then in the next class. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa